Then the company headed out to shoot the famous crop duster scene in East Bakersfield, California. To begin with, the crew filmed the aerial establishing shot where Carrie is dropped off by a bus. Way off in the distance, you could see a, a town. So that became a mat shot. I said, I've never handled a mat shot from a crane. It, it'll be unsteady. Well, what we did is we took four cables and we tied it off four ways and then lifted the crane just a little so that everything was tight and it worked. Nothing happens for almost eight minutes and it still holds your attention. Even though it was early October, the climate was that of a sweltering desert. This was probably one of the only times Hitch ever wore short sleeves on the set. For three days, poor Carrie ran like crazy with a stunt plane swooping down at him, or so it would seem, as nobody would think of putting Cary Grant in the position of getting decapitated by a low-flying plane, some trick photography was used. I feel like a traitor telling you this, but first the crew shot a swooping plane from a ditch, and then later, Carrie was shot on a soundstage jumping into a fake ditch with the plane footage on a process screen behind him. The cornfield we had to plant. <laughs> we had to get corn and put stalks and put them in. Cary Grant rushes into the cornfield and ducks down on the ground, and the plane loosens this poisonous crop dusting powder all over him. And he's gasping for breath, and he rushes toward a car which is coming from a distance. And the camera follows him as he goes toward the car, and he waves and waves, and the car refuses to stop. The next day, Hitch discovered that Peggy Robertson, his script supervisor, had forgotten to make sure that Carrie was covered with crop dust in the shot where he runs across the field toward the car. And she burst into tears. She was hysterical. Hitch had to shoot the whole scene over again. We were there when they actually had the truck exploding. The company name on the truck was the company that my husband was working for at that time. This was Cary Grant's stand-in, and he was wonderful. Not only was his resemblance to Cary incredible, but he had his walk and his movements down pat. Nonetheless, that's mostly Cary out there, running for his life in the scene that remains one of the greatest action sequences ever filmed.